À la carte. Gozaimas. Merci bien, chef. Merci bien. Bienvenue. Come on in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're here at French Miso with owner Tobacco along with her husband, Chef Eric. We are actually in the La Plaza, yes. in, in the middle of Palm Springs, yes. right? Yes, the oldest part of Palm Springs. That's correct. And we are in a, what is a little, well, I think they call it a paseo it's space where the various little cottages are. And you now have a restaurant in two of what were, used to be two little cottages, correct? Yes, yes. it is, is a historical building, yes. 1930s bungalows. That's yes. correct. I believe people used to live here. You've turned it into a commercial establishment, which is, of course now is a restaurant. Yes. Right? And yes. when did this happen? Well, um, it's a separate two bungalows. Yes. It connected with a pretty patio, mm -hmm. and so city allowed us to put the French door. That's the only new door. Everything else is original. 1930s windows and doors. How did you come to a French restaurant here in Palm Springs? Palm Springs. How did that happen? But there's of miso course. involved too. And miso, yes. yes. And how did that happen? Well, um, Chef Eric is from south of France, Montpellier. And he is, um, he is French. He he is the French, you know, the all the fromage, cheese, and, yes, and wines. But he enjoyed my um, homemade cooking of Japanese cuisine, and we start mixing, changing the responsibility. One day French food, one day Japanese food, and he start learning a lot about Japanese cuisine. And um, my friend, our friend, loved to come to our home for dinner. Uh, that's their favorite things to do. So why don't we make our cafe is like our living room? So everyone guests are like our, you know, customer. And it truly is comfortable. To, yes, it's here. very comfortable. It's like a French country house. Thank right? you. Yes, that's how we With want it. With the living room, I have all of your collection. Yes. Um, my husband likes the uh, the tintin. That's a uh, French, French little, yes, cartoon character. You have been in an establishment now for a year or less than that or longer than that? Two months. No, oh, two yes, months. Is very, that right? Very new. Yes, I didn't realize it was that, that recent. Yes. All right, that sounds great. And you have probably six tables, seven tables inside here? This is eight tables eight here. Tables. And how yes. many outside? Uh, four tables. Four tables. And yes. so, uh, do you have to have reservations ahead of time or can you just walk in and? Just walking first comes first because we can um, really hardly uh, honor the reservation. It's a tiny dining room. Yes, yes. So, uh, yes, come on in. And, and you're just serving breakfast and lunch, correct? Yes. Let's go meet the chef. It's All right. So, chef, we understand that you were at one time chef of Patina the wonderful, incredible French restaurant at Disney Hall in LA. I started at Patina and uh, um, it gave me the foundation to understand what uh, cooking was all about and um, how to really get the most uh, creative input uh, with basically uh, local uh, produce. How is it that you decided to open a restaurant in this space? You know, in order to create a successful restaurant, you must have a, a menu that pleases a lot of people, uh, but you also have to have a certain ambiance, okay? And uh, charm has a lot to do with how somebody will view what is on your plate. And you have checked, checked charm and ambiance. Very right. charming. Right. Tell us what we have here. A little French pancake. It's called Bellini. And okay. we use a crumb, crumb fresh. And then chef prepares the flesh locks. The name of this dish is? Uh, Paris CDG, Chat de Gore. Chat de Gore. All right. Yes. This is a traditional Japanese breakfast. Mm. It's a bento box. Beautiful. It's a wood box. Beautiful. And it comes with a miso soup, which is in a little container. Oh, very, very nice. And very healthy. We do um, take broth out of a sun dried bonito, shaved sun dried bonito, with the kelp. 
No, oh. MSG or none of those okay, things. Okay. Well, we know how healthy seaweed, seaweed is. Yes, my mother's recipe with the is tofu. The tofu is silky. So this is, this is the tofu here. Yes. here. Yes. And then this is? A grilled salmon. Grilled salmon. It's slightly salt, saltly mm -hmm. cured. Cured. Um, yes. And, um, and what do we have here? This is um, a sautéed, lightly grilled uh, vegetable asparagus and shiitake mushroom. Mm, very and nice. We have uh, flavored seaweed, crispy seaweed, and then uh, hidden is the ginger flavor, so you can use for tofu or okay. uh, vegetable mm -hmm. for ginger. Looks delicious. Amazing. And All the beautiful right. looking sticky, slightly sticky rice? Yes. Yes. Japan rice has to be sticky. Yes. Yes. All right. yes. I and of hope course, you enjoyed. And Thank of you, Tomoko. Glass of champagne just to yes, top it that off. half. Aha! With the Chardigore, Paris Chardigore. Uh, it's a like a Parisian's breakfast. You must have French champagne with oh, it. Mm -hmm. We must. If we must, we must. Well, I've got four boxes in my bento box. Which one should I try first? Oh my first? gosh, they look so good. I'm Everything. going for the cured salmon. Okay, go for it. This is a specialty, in house specialty. Mm. I'm going to do a kind of a combination of the salmon with a little bit of the egg. Okay, on a croissant? And a croissant, exactly. Okay. And with the cream fraiche, or creme fraiche, I believe it is, just because mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it all. Okay. But there's a whole little something. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is just so tender, so moist is what it is. Oh, well, that's oh the key. God. That's the key to, actually, what's interesting, that's the key to perfect French cooking, mm. and it's also the key to perfect Japanese cuisine, you know? Mm. The tofu is cold. It is mouth-watering, very silky. I think it's called probably silken tofu. Um, you can definitely taste the ginger, the scallions. You can see all There's the very a little bit of roasted seaweed on there. A little. Mm. And, and the combination right here is amazing. Did you like what you just saw? Of course you did! Then push on this button and subscribe. And remember to ring the bell! And then that way you'll have the Palm, Palm Springs, Springs Point of View. view.